Hello everyone, I'm here again with another Smogus game. So we're gonna have a game with a little bit of a higher level and oh, 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 oh you didn't see that right? If you could <laughs> just rewind the video and spoil it if you want, but don't do that, it's not gonna be fun. And uh, I have we have Smolis versus in Civixi. In Civixi, I'm just gonna call him purple. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we have Smolis in the bottom left uh, of uh, Cloud Kingdom, and we have in purple in the top right. And uh, it's a Cerberus Zerg, a little bit different. Uh, to my fa fav my favorite races battling against uh, or my favorite race battling against itself kind of bad that's uh that I think about it uh, Sergi is gonna lose I'm <laughs> quite sad about that but uh, both of them sending the overlords I think towards the expansions so they can see if uh, it's a hatch first or something it's probably not in Sergi's Serg but sometimes you see that. And then it's nice to scout it because then they can put some pressure on with the links and totally win. But sometimes people think like, hey, they're not gonna expect the edge first, so I might touch first. But that m almost never happens because it's still hard to hold up the aggression even th if they don't expect it. They're still gonna put on aggression because it's so absurd. Or uh, I'm just kidding myself and they're both going for hatch first. <laughs> okay! Now it totally sounds stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. So what is going with the earlier um, drone scout than purple? And I think this is not a series. I just uh, I just got one game sent to me. And I just realized I'm running out of hardware uh, hard drive space. I'm just gonna check something really fast. And I only have 20 gigabyte left, so I can't uh, record one more video. I have to render some and upload to YouTube. So this will this will be the last game I do in this week. So uh, small drone, just hang out. Almost you can think that it's purple drone, but it isn't. So because they are almost the same color. I'm surprised no one went for pool first because that's the normal stuff to do in service or maybe maybe in Diamond League, I don't know, maybe they're trying out some new stuff working on that now maybe people are going economic instead because they know they can hold it up in some weird way just same stuff going, going up for the both both of the guys and uh, the only difference is um, purple is going for two sets of links and the small is going for two drones uh, so, so I just want to make this in macro game and uh, purple as as much of a macro game, I guess. No speed yet for any of the players, even though purple can afford it and Smodis. Pull off the gas here for Smodis, so we're getting a speed right there. Getting a bailing nest. I actually am one of those persons that prefer roaches over bailing nest, but I know bailing can be, be effective too. At least in service Sorg I prefer the roaches more than the bailings. And this is a glitch in Spike Okay, it was before. Just kind of flashing. You know, the little crab thingy inside there was glitching before, so. Yeah, it totally did that. I totally saw it like a boss. Going both the towers for Smodis. Not gonna be able to get up there because. Well, he has six links and queen. Eight links now. Gonna get some mainlings. Four mainlings, to be exact. So, Smilis has not thrown down his gas building yet. He hasn't decided for roaches or mainlings or just to. But he, I don't think he's gonna skip any of them. I think it's not. Um, sometimes I've seen people go for straight to layer and. I don't, th I don't know how that works, but I. I haven't. I have seen it work though, but I don't think anyone is gonna do it anymore <laughs> because it quite sucks. It can work sometimes, but it sucks. So uh, I'm expecting a rogue swarm or a bayonet nest here from Smudges in the next few minutes, because otherwise this guy is gonna purple guy is gonna uh, 
be able to put on a lot of pressure. I think uh, Smotis seems to have map control now, but that's gonna change when these humans push out because he doesn't have his gas bending building down yet, so he can't get anything but links. He doesn't have ro he, do he don't have roaches and he do doesn't have a bending, so I think Smotis is spotting this. Oh, I pressed B instead of V, the classical mistake to do. Everyone does it. Yeah, he sees his bailings, he sees the links, so he should be watching this by now. I think he's pre preparing for it, because he's gonna throw down a bailing as a roach right now, I think. Or he's not watching his min map. He's throwing down one more spine crawler, but probably because he is feeling pressured. I'm surprised purple guide didn't check uh, the towers. Because that's the classic thing to do. And Smarty sees some bailings with his links. And he can't be so happy now. And uh, these three links are kind of like, oh, it's about to win the expansion, uh, defend the expansion, but they are not going to be able to. Not at all. Not with these bailings, at least. And he. Smotis gets a bailing with a circle. That's nice. It's uh, one with two. Not as good, but still. Something. It's still worth it, except that it costs small lava. He lost a little bit lava, but saved no resources. He didn't cancel the expansion, though. That I'm really surprised about. And losing the link to the Brulings. That's always sad. When I see people lose units to Brulings, I just get so mad. <laughs> because that shouldn't be happening. You shouldn't lose units to Brulings, seriously. <laughs> You're on a timer. They suicide after a couple of seconds. They don't want to live anymore. A lot of minerals are banked up for Smotis because he's supply blocked, making seven more overlords. Now he, he has uh, twice the overlords he needs. And just gonna pump a bunch of units, I guess. Looks like he's getting the melee attack, so he's probably gonna go for Lingy Fester. Uh, as I said, I like Roche Fester more than Lingy Fester. Seems like this queen just took out an overlord because purple guy is in the or is in red supply with seven so he needs to make at least two overlords to keep making units and he's making one extra also uh, gonna do some nibbling on that overlord and then he's like oh I got something to an overseer so I can see when I'm getting shot at. I think it's the morph is gonna finish in time, so he will get full HP when the morph is done. I'm gonna get a little bit of a scouting in there. So it's just like, oh, Overseer is a good idea, and then he makes one. Totally, that's what's happened. Purple guy getting up his third. Smotis didn't because well, get killed by links as you saw. Dropping down a chain sling. Smotis sees that. He's like, ah, no chance like in my base. It's so hard to target this, even if you try to right click it. I, I almost couldn't do it. And I'm casting. You know what I would like? I would like Changeling to do one damage per hit. That would be so, so awesome. And then, but if you attack, they would get aggro. Just so, just so you can give a little bit support with them. But that would be so OP, you know. Just mass. Hey, everyone would go mass over here because chainslings are free. It's fly and cost, of course. It's like invested Terrence though. And not so much happening. Taking out the rocks with links, kind of boring. <laughs> kind of boring taking out the rocks with links. Uh. Looks like purple guy is going for with a Ling Roach Baneling combination. Probably is gonna switch out of Banes now. Getting the plus one plus one for um, range though. And uh, yeah, seems like someone is gonna stick with his links. And he's still making that. I think he maybe will go up to Hive and get Ultra Lisk maybe because he's getting so much melee upgrades 
But that could also be for Ling Festival, of course, but he's not making any investors and he's not getting the path picture in the lands. Or well, he already has that, of course. It because it's a multi -lock. I don't think he can't there. I don't know. I should have looked. <laughs> and of course the camera is like yeah, you wanna follow these units? I'm gonna follow the rocks. <laughs> the camera the the camera AI is so smart in this in this game. That means someone programmed the rocks to have higher priority than <laughs> the units, which is quite I don't know what ironic. The rocks are very important, you know. The rocks are very important. So we did have some investors I missed those and and you see them making, so I'm sorry about that. He probably needs like a couple of macro hatches if you wanna produce other this uh, if you wanna produce maybe two macro hatches, I don't know, maybe one. Because he has a lot of minerals and gas, he could throw down that, I think. Without a problem, because you get uh, you get a little larva to produce lingifester that everyone knows, you know. Yeah, it looks like it's getting macroage right now, and getting up to hive. I know when I play a Saragor sim, he likes to go into ultra disc versus roaches. So I think he's just gonna do that. Ultra disc are very good versus roaches, you know. Gonna get a little bit of a lag because. Uh, my graphics card is not the best to know. <laughs> and processor too. I'm rendering, so <laughs> sorry about that, but I wanna get get the games out as fast as possible to you. And uh, totally owning these roaches, you know. Gonna be able to take out this expansion if he decides to I don't see any reason to not go for the expansion, you know. Why would you not? Well, it's there, and you did, and you just kill this army, fungling the <laughs> the overlord, just having some fun. A lot of banners getting morphed. Thirty-five, no, twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, that unit is on the hotkey too. Two-two down for Smodis, and uh, nothing really happening. Uh, I think that Smodus took a big risk earlier in the game, not having Roaches or Banelings, because I wouldn't think, I don't think he would have been able to hold off an attack by purple guy before. Looks like, well, the the way to beat Sir, it's to be it's to be Terran. I just that's the only thing I can say. If you want to beat Sir, be Terran. <sighs> getting it's looked it looks like yeah they're quite even on the income nothing special happening they are have the same number of harvesters and income so then the supply is just army that's good to know so that means purple guy has more army than Smodis and his investor he is not in the position to defend his links not that he needs to defend his links but if he can get fungal right here I think that would kill all the banelings maybe two he needs yeah he probably needs two but it will be still. It will still be very cost effective. I actually think. Yeah, fungal gro growth does kill a bane. Just one. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how the region counts into that. I don't know. I have to figure it out. I'm gonna test that later. But not now. Looks like all all of the spine crawlers are glitching. I guess that's something with the local settings don't use uh, bailings on investors both of them cost a lot you know and but he's gonna take some well yeah that was one sided I guess gonna lose an investor with full energy um, an investor with some more and ultra -lisk, as I said coming out But I think that was really bad that he lost a bunch of surgeons to remember fungled banelings. He just walked into them. That's actually really bad for him. Should have not done that. 
killing some units for free. Why not? You might say. Getting two investors, I think. No, just one. And the investors sitting in front is not a good idea, man. Purple guy. Whoever. However you say that. In six. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe you can hold this off with the infested trans you got. They can tank from the ultras because ultras do extra damage against them. It looks like Smodis is gonna be able to take out the space though. Even though we could have taken it out earlier as I said. The infested turns are gonna clean up these roaches, the nice room, clean up them for free. Not using an ultralisk HP, but still he is. Yeah, exactly. No, no, this hey, I could use my infested dead as a day, but I think I could take down the expansion there. So now he's missed the opportunity to do that two times. Or twice, I should say. Two times. You never say two times, you only say twice. 3-3 three, three coming up, and Kitan is plating, I guess. Uh, a little. Actually, I thought about this, and also this cat, a lot of movement speed and creep. Oh, I missed this. Grid Spire and Brutal Lords for Purple Guy. Random, random Purple Guy! <laughs> I have no idea how, we, how you say that. If you can write in the comments, I would be happy. So yeah, I have a lot of replays now, but I still want to replays, dudes. Uh, so send some in, if you have some. The mm, smartest skin I realize this is not the best engagement because he has brute lords and he can just focus on the ultras because Rooks can clean up the links and uh, maybe he can go in there take and take that expansion, but it's not going to be worth it. And the road <laughs> road drones kind of revealing, yeah, we have an expansion over here, and uh, smartest is like, oh yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. We don't. So he's kind of running out this way because this brutal is chasing him. Looks like purple guy is trying to, uh, trying to. I know. I don't know. The all this is some. It's some. This is only army. This drones. I'm getting distracted. Okay, guys. And this is what I missed. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> go back a bit and uh, see what happened. I want to see if you kill any drones or something. Uh, let's see here. So we had two overlords here with six investors. Yeah, there weren't any thing here, and the brutal was kind of owning the investors. <laughs> So, fail harass, I guess. Losing two lords and then maybe two investors. You can't harass someone that's mined out, you know. 3-3, three, three, just finishing. You could get the melee upgrades because the bailings doesn't have any upgrades. The bailings going in there, killing the infested Terrans. Lol. Focusing down the great spire with the this is turns, that's nice. And uh, as usual we see Marines attacking a great spire. Even in Sargor's Surrey. Yes. That always happens. He should make an overseer because he knows there are investors uh, there are investors here here. And he just loses them because he unburrows at some brood lords. But I'm probably missing something right here because I'm watching that. That's what he's concentrating on. But just lo lost five investors there. I don't know why. Owning those orchards, you know. Pro. That's kind of pro. Super pro. Arr. Harassing. With ultra skin links. Looks like a huge failing hit went on because all them, all the servants were in rich HP. My banshee, uh, my marauder banshee, uh, spectre, and marauder is uh, glowing red, so I guess they all have quite high APM. Ultras fleeing from broodlings. Yes, you heard it, and you probably know how this will end. Okay, I didn't know because I thought that ultra was gonna die, but it didn't. So.
it doesn't matter. And a lot of uh, corruptors here, I guess he wants to get Broodlord too, or he just, oh, of course, he's just getting, he's just getting the corruptors to counter the Broodlords, of course. So he's going Corruptor Ultra, that's actually really nice. I like that, I like that Makra. He's gonna be able to take out some Broodlords here, and the Broodlords are not saying, oh, if you go in there, we're dead. So these Broodlords are gonna die, but these shouldn't show themselves to the Corruptors, because the Corruptors are just gonna kill them. Killing some stuff with the roaches, but they're gonna get owned by Ultralisk. That is, they are, and they are gonna get owned by Brood Lords. Oh, I wish I could zoom out so I could watch that and this at the same time. Please, someone do that. Make a mod so you can zoom out more. Make a mod. Make a mod like a boss. All the Brood Lords are dead, and just go up with the investors and bundle the roaches. Or don't bundle, just make investor Terrans. I guess they are so pro, but he has three armor upgrades, so if his terrors can't almost kill anything. Should I should get the range upgrade because he has thrown down so many if the terrors, you know. Some of uh, purple guys corruptors here. I don't know how they survived. Here we go. They're getting killed by corruptors. Corruptor versus corruptor battles. Great. Hey, pro tip! If your enemy goes corruptor, don't go corruptor, go hydra. <laughs> pro tip, just so you know. You know, hydras are pretty good against corruptors. And those orcs are like, hey, hey, we're gonna assist you, my brethren, and then they're like, oh, you're dead. Well, I, we're out of here. Those roaches were so lucky that I didn't get the aggro. Smaller is working on his uh, greatest spire and an adrenal glass and fire attacks. So, uh, gonna want to get some brutalers of himself, and I think, yeah, uh, Smaller is in the advantage right now. 47 to 77 uh, harvesters, and dropping apparently. This was nice. I missed this. Again. I almost missed the harassment of this expansion. 53 work workers killed for Asmodeus. That's actually really huge. I think, yeah, Asmodeus maxed them. Pop, run the purple guy is halfway there, so. I think, yeah, this is quite over. Asmodeus will win this very soon. Especially when this uh, great spy kicks in. And it's gonna be able to use all the supply here. I think it will suicide something. Because, maybe, something it will. I think he will suicide something because he has a lot of supply now. And he can't make the brutalers he wants to make. He can just make one, you see. Sacrificial investors, yes, sure. Okay, it's not good to just send in investors against nor units like that. You have to get them some meat, you know. And the ultra list can. Ah, this is over. <laughs> Yeah, he just. <laughs> yeah, this was a nice game. Yeah, but he, I, I would just, I could just imagine how mad he would be when he realized all these corruptors are gonna morph into brood lords. So yeah, thank you, Smodis, for sending me this game, and I'm gonna run some videos because I only had 10 gigabytes left. So see you guys next time.